Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to more Minecraft. In the previous video, we did some work here in Pharaoh's Landing, mostly this back wall, we accomplished that. We also did the interior-ish of this bank right here. In today's video, we're going to take a little bit of a break from the Pharaoh's Landing project to do something kind of fun, something we haven't done in quite a little while, and something that we kind of need to do, and that is go and try and find some netherite. We are rocking full diamond gear, which is Pog Champ. I love some diamond gear, really feels like Minecraft to me. But netherite is better, and so we will have to head to the nether with some beds in hand to see if we can mine some netherite. Now previously we used TNT, but I think beds are going to be easier for us. We have a bit of resources in the, the wool department, yes, we just, we'll go ahead and make 10 beds to start. Oh, you know what we should do, actually? We should head to... That's a good idea. We're going to head to the plantation, because there's a whole ton of sheep there that need to get sheared. So we can shear the sheep, and then make beds, and then come back and make more beds if needed. I think that's a good idea. So I'm actually going to leave... Now nah, we'll take all this wool with us. Why not? It should be okay. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Let's sleep first, actually. I think that'll be a wise idea. I'm sleeping with my scissors, because that's what a good scissor owner does. All right, yeah, so let's, yeah, let, let's, let's go and shear the sheep first, and then we'll make beds from what we have. So if you guys don't know, netherite farming is very simple. Basically, you just have to mine a whole ton of the nether close to the bedrock level. I don't remember the exact uh, Y elevation, but I do know we have a little tunnel that we can continue. Uh, our nether is a little unique because when the nether first got its major update, everyone was going through and deleting their uh, their nether like file data for their worlds. And because I was on PlayStation 4 at the time, uh, we couldn't do that. And so we sort of came up with like a compromise. That compromise was that I would actually just build a command block teleporter and we would essentially treat the old nether as gone and we'll use only the new nether. And so that is gonna be the plan. I will show you what that means in just a second. You might have seen it in the previous video we went to the nether as well. And I think it might have been semi-visible. We do have some extra wool in here as well. We've got a lot of wool. Let me take some of this orange wool. Holy buckets, orange wool. I doubt anyone remembers this, but there used to be a, a Minecraft series uh, called orange wool. That was like, a, I think it was on Mindcrack. It was two YouTubers. I forget who it was. Um, but I think it might have been fairly niche. Orange Wool. Their theme song was just them going, Orange Wool! Or something like that. That was crazy. Orange Wool. I haven't thought of that in years. I haven't thought of Mindcrack in years. That's bonkers. For those of you who don't know, maybe you're newer to the Minecraft community. Uh, Mindcrack was basically like Hermitcraft but back in the day it had a bunch of popular people on it it was just a survival server everyone played on it like ethos lab was on it seth bling was on it a lot of old school minecrafters some of them have transferred to hermitcraft mainly etho but others did not all right let's go ahead and just bring not all these logs we'll bring a few logs with us in case we need to craft anything otherwise it is time to head into the nether we have a ton of beds it's going to be a very explosive episode, so make sure to explode that subscribe button and explode the like button. And if you do that, then I will explode with happiness. The, the cards are on the table. Your turn to play. So approaching the nether portal, you can see that we have a little outline of a portal here with some pressure plates. If we step on this, it will teleport us to the new nether. And basically, this was my way of like resetting our nether. And uh, if I ever wanted to mine like resources or anything, generally I'm supposed to go to this part of the nether and declare like that old part of the nether essentially dead. But I still use like the fortress there sometimes, so it's not entirely perfect. Um, but Minecraft isn't entirely perfect. Speaking of Minecraft being imperfect, when I logged in to start recording this video, I thought uh, I had like gone AFK and lost all my items because I logged in and I had nothing. I was like, what the heck? And I was back at the original world spawn. And I ran over to Pharaoh's Landing, because that's where I would have, you know, spent all my time. And there was like a creeper hole and stuff. And so I patched it, and then I- ow. 
I logged out of the world because I was like a little upset. And when I logged back in, none of that happened. It was super odd. I'm not sure how or why that happened. Uh, but yeah, I logged in where I had... Oh, jeez. I, I logged in where I had previously had nothing. And I was back in. Full inventory, chilling for me. Just waiting as if nothing had ever gone wrong. It was super, super strange. Um, but yeah, that was a weird bug. If you guys have ever experienced that bug, let me know in the comments section. Because I, I feel like it can't only be me, but I have never, ever seen that. And I've been playing Bedrock Edition for years. And that doesn't happen in Java. Mm, okay. I think it would be wise if we set up a little bit of, like, a base. Let's mine out a bit of the wall here. And a bit of the ceiling as well, because we are not people who live... In a two block area, no siree. Alright. I don't know what that sound is. It sounded like water. Okay, a lot of creepy nether noises. So shout out to anyone who likes a creepy nether noise. Okay, I need to start throwing some stuff out, so I'm just gonna drop that. And then where are my logs? They're over there. I need logs, thank you. Get rid of this. Whatever, literally just get rid of something. I just need a space inventory to craft. Okay, good. I craft it. Great. And then I can toss that out and make a crafting table. Good. And then I can place. And there we go. And then I can make a chest. Single chest should be fine. For the meantime, there we are. Okay. And then everything that isn't a bed can just go in here. Except food. I need that too. There we go. Okay, great. And then also, I want to probably place down... A handful of torches just get I don't know maybe I will we'll start with this oops that's not where I want to place that there we go get a torch light up things a little bit give me that back I'm so disorganized I apologize for this disorganization this is not a gamer moment but there we go okay now we're all set up great and we have our torch I'm gonna put a torch here and a torch here that'll like mark the way we need to go and then yeah we can take our beds and kind of just jog all the way to the end. Oh my gosh, this is just massive. Did I fight the Wither in here or something? Holy. It legitimately looks like I fought the Wither. Alright, here we go. Good. So, uh, I hate that the arrows automatically default to the second inventory slot. Alright, boom. There we go. Let's mine up a little bit. We'll go over. Put that back there. Good. And then, yeah, you take some damage. I could have placed a block to take less damage. Um, but basically, that's how you go about doing it. I feel like I'm a little low. I don't really want to be breaking through the bedrock layer. So I might go up a little bit for this next one. There we go. And we also want to have a bit more health than we currently have. There we go. I think what I want to do, yeah, let's go up to like this block layer. And then we want to have like a bit of a barrier here so that we take less damage, hopefully. Nope, I don't want to throw the bed. I want to place it. Boom. There we go. And bang. Yeah, that absorbed a ton of damage. Okay, and then you just kind of have to peek around a little bit. Because there is, you know, the potential to find ancient debris anywhere. And I'm pretty sure it's a one-to-one -one drop rate. So, that's good. If we get netherite, we're obviously good. Oh, ow, 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 ow. That's bad. We're going to want to get, um, like, max enchants of... Uh, as well which we need levels for so at some point we're gonna have to get more levels but i can do that off camera in like the enderman farm or something that's not something i don't think i want to bore you guys with go switch into a bed place it and click it perfect wow three and one that's crazy that's insane i think I don't know, like I said, I haven't mined netherite in a really long time. But boom, there we go, the first ancient debris. We got it. And now we're trapped. There we go. But that's that's how basically how it works. You just have to keep doing that. Boom. And I don't think it burns in fire or anything, so if it were to drop, like, close to fire, we should be fine. I think when you get a netherite, you're supposed to, like, kind of swing around it a little bit. Because you can, uh, you can find, like, extra netherite, I think. With RTX turned on, it obviously has a bit of a glowing effect, so it might be a little hard to miss netherite. Having said that, I've definitely missed netherite before, and I've had a comment be like, did you miss netherite? I was like, oh shoot. 
And you just go back for it, but it, you know, it's not what you really want to have happen on YouTube. But, uh, you know, it's a good thing that we always have the viewers looking out for us, I suppose. Always a good thing. We can also mine some of this quartz, because this is good EXP to repair the uh, the pickaxe. Because I think, you know, you'll be surprised how quickly you can just destroy pickaxe durability when you're just swinging wildly out in the netherrack. Uh, but, you know, when you've got the, uh, you've got the mending, it's a little easier to kind of just slap on a quick repair. Alright, another bed. Boom. Place it, and let it rip. Another netherite. Very good, very good. Yeah, definitely getting a sheep farm going, I think, is critical to finding lots of netherite. Because that way you can get... Oh, oh, we gotta be careful of lava. Gotta be careful. Oh, shoot. We have to, have to, have to be careful when you're mining quickly around here. Because my netherite is uh, lava proof, but I am not. I suppose it could be wise to bring uh, fire resistance potions. Anytime you're in the nether, a fire res potion is useful. Learned that lesson the hard way. Oh shoot! A second hidden netherite! Nice! Told you it's important to mine around. How many do we have now? Five. Let's go ahead and move this into this slot here, so that way we always have an active netherite count. That you guys can see. How much netherite can we get from the beds that we have with us? Oh, okay, wait, hold on. New block? New block? It might be hard to get the uh, to get the netherite exposed if the blast resistance is high. We always have to be careful because we don't want to waste too many beds or resources otherwise. If the next bed exposes two or more netherite, you have to hit the subscribe button, who's in? And if by some chance it doesn't expose to netherite, then I will... I mean, does... do we even... Does, okay, bet's off. Bet is entirely off because because that, that counts. That, like, that's the netherite uh, for this chunk. There's not gonna be any more netherite. We just found three netherite by mining. And so now, if we look for netherite outside of this, there won't be any. Because we just found it. Okay, bet's off. Never mind. Cancel the bet. Refund. That doesn't count. Because there's only a certain amount of netherite per chunk, and we just found three of it in a row. Which is... Uh, basically, there was no chance of me finding netherite. Because I used up my luck. Oh, hey, thanks for the netherite game. How many ancient debris do we have? We have eight ancient debris now. Which I think might be... Oh, am I gonna burn here? No, I'm fine. Three and a half hearts? I should be fine, yeah. I want to make sure that these openings are nice and large so that we don't have to, like, try and find our way through by finding little, like, one-by-one -one tunnels or something. I want to open it nice and large, have it be a wide open space, like, hey, come on in. Come on into the netherite farm. Maybe you'll find some. Welcome to the curio shop. Hope you find what you're looking for. That's my impression of the guy from Webkins who runs the curio shop. Or if you are under the age of like, I don't know, 20, and it's my impression of Jay Schlatt doing an impression of that guy. Isn't that funny? Jay Schlatt does a really good impression of that guy. I can't remember that guy's name, but if you just look up, look up like Jay Schlatt Webkin's dog, I'm sure you'll find it. He does a stellar impression. Hope you find what you're looking for. You found yourself a gem. You can keep that gem for your collection. And try for that legendary crown of wonder. Or I can buy it from you if you like. Let me see what I can offer. Eh, I see these things here all the time. And then you... You decide if you sell it or not. Alright, we're down to only a handful of beds left. And our inventory is getting rather full. I think we'll go until we find another big hit of netherite. And then we will call it from here. I don't want to be in here too, too long. Because the process is a little repetitive. But, I am interested to see how much more netherite we can find. And I think you need four netherite per upgrade. I don't think it's more than that. This here. Get me another bed. Like I said, we'll always have the ability to do more bed bombs. Ouch. Boom. There's the big hit. Big hit. That's three netherites. Three netherites minimum. Three exposed netherites. There could be more. We have to get over there. Gotta build. 
Gotta build. Ooh, building. Building like it's Fortnite. Here we go. One, two, three. For a grand total of 11. But let's do a quick swing through and see if we find any more. Just kind of tear up the walls a bit. Negatory. Look more over here as well. All right, no biggie. I think that's kind of a huge haul though. I'm pretty proud of that. 11 netherite. We'll get home and get that cooking, and hopefully we can uh, we can get it applied to something. We might even have, honestly, a spare netherite bar. I might have just been waiting to use it on like a uh, on something else, like something that has full enchants on it. Um, but I'm kind of like shying away from max enchanting things because it takes a long time, and I feel like after a while, maybe I'm wrong, but. I feel like the difference between like efficiency 4 netherite and efficiency 5 netherite or like unbreaking 3 and unbreaking 2, it just gets to be like marginal and I don't feel like grinding that stuff out. Mostly because the levels you need to do it are kind of intense. Like if you want say uh, to combine a bunch of books, that's like 30 levels normally. And then you got to go through and apply that and that's like more levels. So you'll notice as we get back closer to the start. Uh, the tunnels are worse. There's no fire, which is good, but there's also like little one by ones connecting them and stuff and some resources left in the walls. So, you know, these earlier mines, I was using TNT and I don't think those left fire behind, uh, but TNT, the resources you need for TNT are a lot. And I've considered making like a creeper farm, but I could never get it to work. I built it in creative mode. Um, I built it over the ocean. And I could not get it to uh, to work for me. Maybe I'll need to take another peek at that. Uh, we should be getting fairly close to the entrance now. We'll drop off a ton of stuff into the chest. Because we don't need to be bringing all this with us. It is simply unnecessary. And we'll be taking our fake uh, nether portal back. There we go. Good, let's go ahead and craft some stuff up though. We got, we got some, we got two blocks of gold. That's pretty darn good and a stack of quartz. Cool, okay. The rest of this can stay. Uh, let's leave the beds here as well. Oh, perfect amount of spots. That was destiny. That's destiny right there, ladies and gents. Fate will have it. We use just enough blocks of, or blocks of bed. We use just enough beds to where we don't need to, to bring any back. Okay, we gotta do some parkour. There we go, and I see a strider. I totally forgot the striders even in this game. We should do something with a strider. Once we finish the uh, Pharaoh's Landing project, I might take a break from a large building project for a while, because I have other large building projects I want to do. Um, but I might take a bit of a break from those and come back to a building project later. And maybe in the meantime, we can do like mob collecting or something. Because back in the day, one of the things people always used to do was, was a mob uh, zoo. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. Joke's on you, my portal is instant. If I can find it, I found it. I don't have a bow. I have a bow, but it's tucked away in my pocket. Don't feel like getting it out. Nether portal. Perfect. And then secondary nether portal. Yeah, this nether spawn was kind of corrupted. Not sure how, but just playing on uh, PS4 edition can do that sometimes, I think. So there's like lava, like one by one lavas that don't flow, just like suspended in the air, so. Some weird things. Not too, too big of a deal, though. Let's get this netherite cooking in the furnace. There we go. We can also deposit all of our other loot. Yeah, we ha oh, we have more nether. We have more debris. Nice. So we had 11 debris from this hall. Not too bad. Obviously, you can get a lot more than that. This actually goes in the other section. That can go in there, though. That can go in there. Perfect. I don't quite remember how to do netherite. I think you need to combine it with gold and the scraps. So we will have to go about doing that. But this is my nether chest. It's a little... uh little disorganized but it works a lot of random stuff just from like in, you know going through those adventures then we have the end chest here as well and sylvia hello sylvia i own a cat now in real life and sylvia is is a cool cat in the game but my cat in real life is the best cat ever i'm gonna go ahead and put this another wart in there i should have done this in the blast furnace would have gone faster that's fine though it's not too big of a deal because it'll go lickety split watch Wow, it's done! That went very quickly. And I think we can combine it with some of the gold that we have. Oh, you need a lot of gold. 
No worries. Thankfully, we just got a ton, like I had said. So we can uncompress this, and that makes us three netherites. Which honestly is a... Oh, we can actually make another netherite, I think, right? Don't you need three or do you need four? I need four. That gives us a fair start on netherites. We have three netherite bars now, and we can use it to apply to our armor, or our weapons and tools, or we could save it and make a netherite block and put that on display somewhere. Uh, did the frog get loose again? I think I saw that. I saw his froggy self jumping high. You know what, little guy? Oh, he, he's disguising himself with the, the bunnies. You roam free, little guy. You roam free. I just heard Sylvia meow, and now I'm missing my own cat, and so I'm going to end this video right here and go and hang out with my cat. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. That means a lot to me, and you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.